Pray is simply talking to God. Talking is simple, however, good communication is never simple. Therefore, God demonstrate how to pray and communicate well with Him throughout His Word. Except the Lord's Prayer in the Bible, the following eight prayers are the most powerful communications with God. Even reading along with the following verses in our mind will be beneficial to our soul. 1. Jesus Prayer as a High Priest, John 17 verses 10 to 11. All mine are yours, and yours are mine, and I am glorified in them. And I am no longer in the world, but they are in the world, and I am coming to you. Holy Father, keep them in your name, which you have given me, that they may be one, even as we are one. 2. Moses' Song of Victory, Exodus 15 verses 1 to 2. I will sing to the Lord, for he has triumphed gloriously. The horse and his rider he has thrown into the sea. The Lord is my strength and my song, and he has become my salvation. This is my God, and I will praise him, my Father's God, and I will exalt him. 3. Hannah's Prayer of Praise After Dedicating Samuel to the Lord 1 Samuel 2 verses 7 to 8 The Lord makes poor and makes rich. He brings low and he exalts. He raises up the poor from the dust. He lifts the needy from the ash heap to make them sit with princes and inherit a seat of honor. For the pillars of the earth are the Lord's, and on them he has set the world. 4. Asaph's Psalm of Despair, Psalm 77 verses 1 to 2. I cry aloud to God, aloud to God, and he will hear me. In the day of my trouble I seek the Lord. In the night my hand is stretched out without wearying. My soul refuses to be comforted. 5. David's Prayer of Repentance, Psalm 51 verses 1 to 2. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your steadfast love. According to your abundant mercy, blot out my transgressions. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. 6 Solomon's Prayer of Dedication, 2 Chronicles 6 verses 14 to 15. O Lord, God of Israel, there is no God like you in heaven or on earth, keeping covenant and showing steadfast love to your servants who walk before you with all their heart, who have kept with your servant David my father what you declared to him. You spoke with your mouth, and with your hand have fulfilled it this day. 7. The Pharisees and Tax Collectors' Prayers, Luke 18 verses 11 to 13. The Pharisee, standing by himself, prayed thus, God, I thank you that I am not like other men, extortioners, unjust, adulterers, or even like this tax collector. I fast twice a week. I give tithes of all that I get. But the tax collector, standing far off, would not even lift up his eyes to heaven, but beat his breast, saying, God, be merciful to me, a sinner. 8. Paul's Prayer for the Ephesian Church, Ephesians 1 verses 16 to 17. I do not cease to give thanks for you, remembering you in my prayers, that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give you the spirit of wisdom and of revelation in the knowledge of him.